All right, here we are, guys. My name is Dion from MLC, and in this video, we're going to be going over configuring your version 2, 7.3.1.8. All right, so with that said, let's just get started in this lab. All right, so just get to global configuration mode as soon as you can. Use the appropriate command to create a default route on R1 for all internet traffic to exit to network through S001. So by the end of this video, you kind of want to create a network that can communicate to each other with RIP. So like for example, R1 knows that this exists and this exists and this exists, which it would otherwise normally only be able to be done through stack routes, which are a pain to set up. So yeah, we use RIP version 2 to make that a bit easier. And the stack routes are basically, if RIP version 2 can't help you, just send it to the internet. That's just its primary purpose. So, setting up our default route, all zeros, exit the network through S001. Don't worry about this message, doesn't really mean much. All right, so entering RIP configuration mode, just type in router RIP. Use version 2 of the RIP protocol, so version 2. Disable summarization networks, no auto summary. Configure RIP for the networks that connect to R1, ignoring the internet link because it technically doesn't count since we already set a stack route to it. Just looking at the, these kinds of directly connected networks, so network 192.168.1.0 and network 192.168.2.0. If you guys didn't know how I got those numbers, basically they were nice enough to give you the port labels of the networks that were, you know, directly connected to router, but they didn't give you one for this, which was another indicator of, you know, you're not supposed to deal with that. Okay, so configuring a LAN port that contains no router, so it does not send out any information. The LAN port is just gonna be connected to the, you know, LAN. Uh, I know this port's gigabit ethernet zero zero. It's not being nice to me and showing up right now. So I'll just go ahead and put that in. The command to make uh, the router not send update packets on an interface is passive interface G00. Or rather G00 was the interface, but the command is passive interface. Advertise the default route configured in step 1A with other root routers. That's just gonna be the default information originate command, which is gonna transfer that static route all the way to the end and telling them if they don't know where to send it, send it to the path along R1, leading to R1, saving configuration. Finally, just gonna go ahead and get back into privilege exec mode, the copy command, Going to copy running config, which is why I'm listening to first to so start config, which I'm listening to second. Go ahead and just press enter here. Don't bother saying yes or no. Okay, so configuring rip on R2, which is basically going to look very similar with the exception of the network commands. So again, as per usual, enabling version two, disabling automatic summarization. Configure RIP for networks directly connected. So 192.168.2.0, network 192.168.3.0, network 192.168.4.0. I got those three commands in quick succession because I was just looking over here and I saw that these three these three networks were directly connected to R2. So that's good. Uh, configure the interface that contains no router so it doesn't send out any router information. So this one, which is also gigabit ethernet zero zero. If you guys don't know how I know this, well, I've worked through this lab several times before, so that's one reason. But another reason is, well, you could always just use the show port labels. It makes it look kind of messy, so I turn it off usually, but that would also tell you that's on gigabit ethernet zero zero. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, sometimes if you hover your mouse over it, it would show you too, but 
for some reason Package Tracer just really really hates me right now, so it's not working. <laughs> it's not working out between us, man. Alright, so passive interface. Again, we're gonna make the passive interface gigabit Ethernet 00. We don't want any packets coming out of that. And finally, just repeating the same process on R3. <clears throat> Except for obviously making the stack route, so about a rip. Version 2 to make it version 2. No auto summary to prevent automatic summarization. And then finally, two directly connected networks in this case are DOF 4.0 and DOF 5.0, so let's put that in here. Cool, cool. Okay, I thought we were missing a point for a second in there, so I'll turn to 95, that's good. All right, so configure the interface that has no routers, which it again is on the Gigabit Ethernet 00 port. Uh, so passive interface, G00. That should give us 100, cool. Same configuration, again, just running our copy, we're running config, startup config, cool. Have that done and now let's go ahead and look at each router's routing table or more specifically just the routes that learned the rip so the command to do that is just show ip route rip telling your router only list the rip learned uh, routes and from this three four five it'll also learn two but that's irrelevant because it's directly connected anyway so three and four are three, four and five are all remote according to router one, or at least from the perspective of router one. And it's not directly connected to it, so it doesn't know about these routes. But one through rib version two, it's automatically gonna learn about these networks and it's gonna be able to send packets over there. Okay. Interesting enough, it's not showing the stack route. That I configured. Uh, well, I guess it is also directly connected, so that just makes sense. All right. Oh, it looks like we forgot to save her stuff. It's okay. It's not horribly important. But I guess it's always better to be safe than sorry. So again, just showing our IP route or routing table for a rip. You notice how stack grass learned here because it was learned through rip. One. F well, shoot. One. Four. One and five are not directly connected. That's why there's nothing by four, it's directly connected. One and five are not directly connected and those needed to be learned through rip. And as you might have guessed for router three, I was about to show you, as I'm about to show you at least. One, two, and three are not directly connected, so those had to be learned through rip. Four and five were, so it doesn't need to learn about that. It does also learn the static route, the default static route from router one. Though, so. so to prove this, let's just go here. You know that one, two, and three are here. One, one, two, and three are here. And this default stack route is going to be from here to here. So, yep. Yep. I'm not going to bother pinning. If you guys want to look more at the writing tables, I would suggest you look at it um, on your own lab if you have it. But yeah. We're done. Yay. And I hope you learned something, guys. Don't have to like, don't have to subscribe, but just learn things. And you'll get better at this. Yay. So, yeah. Once again, guys, I'm Daniel Charm LC, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yay.